teammate Muller, then it's Rademacher on board with Plato, and ahead of us is the Hondas. Tight left-hander in, oh, unbelievable! That's a huge accident, that was the back on shore of Tarquini's car. Plato has absolutely nailed that. Plato just seemed, didn't seem to slow down, I mean, all of a sudden the gap between the Honda and the box all just evaporated. Stuck open. Just had a big shunt, these throttles just stuck. I'm in the wall, but I'm fine. Okay, hey, I'd like Okay. Yeah, throttle's just stuck. Um, pedal's jammed down. Yeah, I'm all right. Just throttle's stuck open. Well, that explains it. Good news to hear him explaining it. Shows he's all right. That's the very concerned face of the Vauxhall Motorsport team boss, Mike Nicholson. They don't know it up the front yet. They're still racing. That's Matt Neal, who's just sliding down the inside of James Thompson again. We're gaining the position. He lost a lap ago. Back in. Penalty for not starting in the correct grip position. In this lap, please. In this lap for a drive-through penalty. Much bad news for James Thompson. Drive-through penalty, but much worse news for his teammate Gabriele Tarquini involved in an accident. Safety car out, doctor's car heading around, understandably. Yeah, we're looking at the car of Plato, but really the man who got the biggest hit of all was Gabriele Tarquini. He got punted from behind. There you can see his is the front of those two cars slammed into the barrier. The barrier is almost completely flattened. And those barriers are protected by large foam bales themselves. Look at the damage. Tarquini just about able to get out of the car himself, but very groggy and uh, hopefully uninjured. It's testimony to the strength of the modern-day race car that both drivers were only shaken. With the restart under the safety car, Rick...